We're going to continue looking at the text boxes. Uh, the text boxes are really different in Publisher versus Word. Once you have your text box and then you've got a, a um, ribbon up here to work with text boxes, you can see that one of the things you can do is to turn the direction of the text uh, like you can in a table heading. This one, hyphenation would um, automatically hyphenate it as you go, which I think mine is already done that way. Um, now here's something that you will not see in uh, Word because the paragraphs just keep going. These, as we talked about, are tied together. Remember we took the text overflow from this text box and put it into that one. That means there's a link between these two. This is how you could break that link so that the text boxes would not be connected. Let's insert an image, a graphic because this way we can really look at how these text boxes work. I'll just go ahead and search for cloud because I had that in the search box before. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to pick out a graphic. Now when you put a graphic into Microsoft Publisher, by default it comes in in the text wrap mode. If you remember in Word when you put a graphic in then you have to text wrap it in order to get the text to go around it. But because Publisher is a different type of creation tool it's designed that everything works together. So as you can see as I move my graphic bigger the text wrapping just happens. Now if I look back at my two text boxes all of a sudden now this one has this little icon, the loaded text icon, indicating that we have now taken up so much room that we need to have one more text box to hold it all. I'm going to get my box tool and draw another one. And of course, these are not really um, balanced, but we'll take care of that later. So I'm going to pick up the rest of this text and put it over here. So now I have three text boxes that work together. I mean, make this one a little smaller so you can see that once I have made them too small, I once again have the loaded text icon indicating that um, there is more text over there. Normally when you have three columns, you would want the text boxes to be the same distance. If I select all three by holding down my shift key, well they're still not quite even but I can drag all three at the same time so that if I was going to try to get this balanced then I can move them all at the same time and come out with a balanced uh, border across the bottom. In the next little video we're going to be looking at what this space around the document is.